to sing it because I was thinking oh I'll just play it but no that's how you get sued that's how you uh, that's how you get your uh, that's how you get sued you know because you know heaven forbid you use a, a, a Led Zeppelin song in a uh, in a movie you know heaven forbid that happen hello there Cartier Nate here number 336 Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused 1993 102 minutes color cerebral blah blah so I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I didn't. Know, I went into this thinking, okay, it's Linklater, Slacker, having you know mad, really bad flashbacks from Slacker. But you know, in the end, I was like, you know what? This honestly isn't a bad movie. It's this is actually actually a really good movie. Um, uh, this was the success that uh, Linklater needed to be propelled into the the throes of Hollywood, if you will. I guess even though nobody, I guess nobody believed in this movie, but. Yeah. So anyway, and of course, you know, just saying nothing about propelling into Hollywood and talking about the stars. We got we got Mila Jovovich, even though she's barely in it. Uh, we got Ben Affleck, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Joey Lord and Adams, Parker Posey, um, Adam Goldberg, and all all kinds of cool pe people in this movie. So um, yeah, but it's it's a really cool movie. It's so it's basically it has the feel of Slacker, and it's impossible not to read by, not to, it's possible to learn how to plow by reading books, um, in that there's no real plot, there's no, like, end to the movie, it just kind of, like, the movie just kind of ends, um, everybody kind of has their, I mean, there's more of an ending to Dazed and Confused than there is for Slacker, definitely, um, but it still feels like, it's just like life kind of goes on kind of thing, you know, the way most movies do. Most movies have some kind of ending where it's like a, you know, some kind of solidifying thing. I mean, not always, but but anyway, so it's uh, May 28th. I think it's May 20th, 1976. It's the last day of school, and a bunch of seniors are just basically going around, you know, spending time and uh, kicking it and just partying, basically. Um, meanwhile, um, some of the uh, some of the older, you know, older seniors are, you know, do a lot, spend their time hazing the fr incoming freshmen. Um, uh, the girls, like, you know, put the, send the girls, send the, uh, send the younger girls through, like, uh, make them roll in the dirt and propose to the seniors and throw them through car washes. And the other, and the, uh, the boys get paddled, um. And, uh, yeah, that's, and then, but there's one, uh, who, what's the name of the, but one freshman in particular, Mitch, uh, what is his name? What's his name? Mitch, Mitch Kramer. Mitch Kramer is, uh, kind of like, it gets accepted by some of the seniors, um, because of his sister, his, his older sister, um, let's see, uh, yeah, his older sister Jody is well-liked by uh by the by the people so you know they tell she tells him to go easy on him um it's just easy you know it might be easier if i just go through and talk about the cast i'm looking at the cast on wikipedia because it doesn't have the i don't have the list here um there's randall randall pink floyd randall pink floyd who um who's the one of the star athletes um he's He's kind of been, he's forced to, like, sign, his coach forces him to sign this, like, no drugs or alcohol pledge, um, and he's struggling to, you know, go with it because he really doesn't want to. He feels like it, you know, it violates his freedom. Um, and then there's Mitch Kramer, who's, you know, kind of accepted by the, kind of travels with the seniors and, and gets into trouble with them and ends up meeting a, meeting a sophomore girl and they end up having a, a fling. Um, there's David, what is, what is Matthew McConaughey's name? David, what is his name? David Wood Wooderson. David Wooderson is that old dude who needs to, needs to grow up and get a life kind of, kind of thing, you know. 
Um, he's in his 20s. He's already well, gradu- well graduated, but he still hangs out with the high schoolers, um, definitely flirts with the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, high school, the high school girls, as uh, his infamous line, um, that's all I learned about those high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age, basically. It's like, oh, that's like one of the like top classic lines now, but it's like so creepy and horrendous, you know. Um, who else is there? Uh, let's see, who else we got? Uh, Mike, and then, and then there's the intellectuals. Uh, Mike, Tony, and Cynthia, who um, who are the older, more yeah, more intelligent, you know, who who want to party, but they're not like. They're not meatheads. They they could have a philosophical discussion too, you know. But they wanna but they wanna get their kicks in too, I guess. Um, Cynthia sort of has a crush on Wooderson, even though he's like, and so Mike and Tony are kind of like, really, Cynthia, really? She's like, oh, he's cute, you know. Um, who else? Uh, there's Simone, uh, played by Joey Lord M. So I forgot how annoying of a voice she is from chasing Amy. Um, yeah, she's I think Randall's. Randall's girlfriend. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of different, you know, again, a lot of different uh, different uh, storylines. Um, at one point, I think even uh, Tony uh, strikes up a kind of a bit of a romance with um, one of the one of the um, incoming freshmen or the incoming sophomore. She's a sophomore. No, she's like a. I think she's an incoming freshman because um, earlier, like she's she's told to propose to him and he's like you don't have to go through these you know these you know ritualistic uh initiations and all that and and later on that they they have a party at the moon tower and they end up uh you know meeting and uh, they end up getting together and talking um yeah so yeah it's kind of just like a bunch of characters so there's slater who's the uh or ron slater who's the the token stoner He's just totally stoned all the time and has these, like, really trippy, you know, visions and all that, or talks about things and all that. Yeah, I, there's not really a lot of big focus on the ladies. Um, so, uh, like, Kay and Kay and uh, Julie, you know, those kind of characters just kind of went over my head. I mean, there just isn't really a Darla is kind of like the mean, the mean, or the token mean girl. Um... And yeah, that's basically, I mean, again, there's not much to say. It's just, uh, right, wait, Renee Zellweger was in this movie? I totally did not see her in it. So, man, I definitely have to go go back and check this out. So, yeah, um, again, and yeah, and, um, um, Mila Jovovich sings this song about aliens, and yeah. So, so yeah, it's basically, yeah, the, yeah, the basic, it, the, if the more or less, it more or less focuses focuses more on, I mean, more of the star, the main stars is the the freshman, just his his being accepted by some of the seniors, getting a girl, coming back and not getting in trouble by his mom because his sister told him to you know take it easy on him, and so yeah, it's basically you know, and then the end basically ends with uh, three, um, I think Wood, Wooderson, Wooderson, uh, Wooderson, Floyd. Uh, and uh, Simone and somebody else driving off in the sunset getting Aerosmith tickets. Oh, and I forgot to talk about Ben Affleck because Ben Affleck's in this movie too, and he plays the uh, the the meanest of the the me, the the biggest dipwad, Fred O'Bannon. Yeah, who um, who's like the the one guy who really wants to get every single freshman, you know. Um, in the end, he but they but they but the freshmen end up getting back back at him and all that at the end, dumping him. Uh, thing of paint on him, and yeah, so he gets all upset, and so yeah, I mean, again, it's it's a kind of a feel good kind of movie. I mean, it's not really, well, it's not too much, but it's at the same time, it's got some you know really good quotable lines, but but it's I just love it's sort of like it's com- been compared a lot to American Graffiti, which I love that movie, in that it all the you know kind of goes from like from one like all the between the whole night, you know, and it's like kind of like a, a high school, you know, after out of high school thing. Um, so, but it's set in the seventies, unlike the fifties, you know. So, again, it's a really it's a really neat movie. I, I liked it a lot. Um, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say. It's uh, I I was surprised. Linklater did a fantastic job. Um, 
And yeah, that's all I have to say. So, uh, Days to Confuse gets an A from me. Um, I'm definitely picking this one up. It's it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, it's very funny, um, very uh, very exciting at times. Um, I think a lot of the, the the car scenes are fun, are very fun, and the fight scenes and all that. You know, it's just a trip and a half. Um, I still think my favorite line is "All right, all right, all right." <laughs> Because I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I just wasn't sure where it was coming. You know, it was just you knew. And that's his first line, and he keeps saying that. You know, and he just he's adapted that into McConaughey's adapted that into his own. You know, his own catchphrase. You know, <laughs> which is so funny. Um, so anyway, uh, again, that's that's all I have to say about the movie. It's great. Um, I check it out. You gotta check it out at least once. Um, just to see a less and see a lot of, you know, these, you know, the young kids who are big movie stars now, you know. So, uh, yeah. Days of Confused A. Um, supplements, uh, there's delete, um, uh, so I have the two disc DVD. Um, the disc one has deleted scenes, um, a lot of scenes with the girls. In fact, um, they said that there was a, Linklater said that there was a scene that, um, uh, Joey Lauren Adams and Parker Posey came up together where it's not really has doesn't really have anything to do with the the plot of the movie but they really wanted to add it into the movie and so Link later fought and fought to keep it in but at the end they had to cut it um, and then there's a trailer and then disc two has the rest of the supplements there's a 50 minute documentary called Making Dazed which is kind of prog you know, it's behind the scenes it just shows the making of the movie um, there's a section on the there's a about 40 minutes of uh, audition footage um, with all the stars talking to doing the scenes with Linklater. Um, and then there's a there's a whole section of like footage. There's some stuff with um, like costume design. Um, there's behind the scenes footage of them making the movie. Um, there's the uh, there's the interviews about their character, like you know the actor. You know, like the actor talks about the character they're playing and like who the, who they envision the character to be would be. And um, there's something, and there's um, also footage from the uh, the 10 year anniversary that they did when they got they they re reunite the reunion actually. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, so that's basically all all that's on here. And uh, yeah, so anyway, Days and Confused, fantastic movie. Pick it up. Oh, and 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 of course I didn't mention this, but the soundtrack kicks butt. Of course, you know that's two great soundtracks we've had in a row. Yeah, but anyway, Days and Confused, A, get it. So, that's it for today. That's it for this week, Sunday. A new or more, not looking forward to this. Maybe it won't suck. Probably will. Uh, Monday, Equinox uh, on Filmstruck. Tuesday, Yee Yee. Uh, Wednesday, Coco Talking Gorilla. Thursday, Canterbury Tale. And that's it. So, anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, I don't know. Don't be the kids in this movie. <laughs> Even though it's, you know, this is a, seven, a movie about the 70s. And, you know, if you go back in time to the 70s, don't be the kids. Don't be the kids in this uh, movie. If you go back to May 28th, 1976, uh, don't uh, watch out for your, watch it, keep your mailboxes uh, safe and your, and your garbage cans safe, you know, because you never know when those... Those senior boys will smash them down, you know. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on Sunday for a new or more. And until then, goodbye.